God has chosen you. Yes, you. Right now, as you're watching this, your life is about to change forever. You've been picked for something amazing, something bigger than you ever dreamed. From this moment on, you're stepping into a world of abundance. We're talking millions. But hold on, I don't just mean money. I'm talking about millions of blessings, opportunities, and moments of pure joy. This isn't just another video. It's a message straight from the heavens to you. Think about it for a second. Have you ever felt different? Like you were meant for something more? That feeling, that little voice inside you, that's no accident. It's been guiding you to this very moment. You're not watching this by chance. You were led here because it's time for you to know the truth. You are one of the chosen ones. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Me? Chosen? There must be some mistake. But let me tell you, there's no mistake here. God doesn't make errors. He handpicked you, with all your strengths and even what you think are weaknesses. Everything about you, your experiences, your struggles, your dreams, it's all part of the plan. A plan that's about to unfold in the most incredible way. So, what does it really mean to be chosen by God? It's not about being perfect or better than others. It's about being perfectly suited for a unique purpose. Think of it like this. Imagine you're a key, and God has a very special lock that only you can open. Your whole life has been shaping you for this moment, for this purpose. I remember when I first realized I was chosen. It wasn't some big, dramatic moment with lightning and thunder. It was actually on a pretty ordinary day. I was feeling down, questioning everything in my life. But then, out of nowhere, I felt this warmth, this certainty that I was exactly where I needed to be. It was like God was telling me, I've got you. You're right where you should be. From that day on, everything started to shift. Opportunities began popping up, doors started opening, and I felt this incredible sense of peace and purpose. Now, it's your turn. This is the beginning of your journey as one of God's chosen ones. Get excited, because from this point on, your life is going to be full of wonder, purpose, and yes, abundance. But remember, this journey isn't just about what you'll get. It's about who you'll become and the impact you'll have on the world. You might be feeling a mix of emotions right now. Excitement, disbelief, maybe even a little fear. That's okay. It's all part of the process. Embracing your chosen status is a big deal. It means stepping into a new version of yourself, one that's aligned with God's plan for your life. It might feel overwhelming, but don't worry. You're not alone in this. God chose you, which means He'll also guide you every step of the way. Now, Let's talk about how you can know for sure that you're one of the chosen ones. God doesn't usually send a big, flashing neon sign saying, you're chosen. Although, wouldn't that be nice? Instead, he leaves little clues, signs that you might have overlooked before. Let's go through some of these signs together. First up, have you ever had a strong feeling to do something, go somewhere, or help someone, and you couldn't explain why? That's often God's way of nudging you in the right direction. Maybe you felt compelled to call an old friend out of the blue, only to find out they really needed someone to talk to that day. Or perhaps you had a sudden urge to take a different route to work, avoiding a major traffic jam. These aren't coincidences. They're signs of your connection to a higher purpose. I remember a time when I had this overwhelming feeling that I needed to go to the park. It didn't make sense. I had work to do, and it wasn't even nice weather but I couldn't shake the feeling. So, I went. And you know what? I ran into an old acquaintance who ended up offering me an amazing opportunity that changed my career. That's the kind of thing that happens when you're chosen. You're guided to be in the right place at the right time. Another sign is when you find yourself overcoming challenges that seemed impossible. We're talking about those moments when everything was stacked against you, but somehow, you made it through. Maybe you landed a job you were totally underqualified for, or you recovered from an illness that doctors said was incurable. These aren't just strokes of luck. They're evidence of a higher power working in your life. Think back on your life. Can you recall times when you surprised even yourself with what you achieved? Those moments when you look back and think, I can't believe I did that. That's not just you. That's the power of being chosen at work. God is showing you that with Him. You can do things that seem impossible to others. 
Here's another big sign. Feeling like you don't quite fit in, but in a good way. It's not about being an outsider, but more like you're seeing the world through a different lens. Maybe you find yourself questioning things that everyone else accepts as normal. Or you might have interests and passions that your friends and family don't quite understand. This feeling of being different isn't a bad thing. It's a sign that you're meant for something unique. You see, when you're chosen, you're given a perspective that sets you apart. It might make you feel a little lonely sometimes, but it's actually preparing you for your special purpose. Have you ever noticed certain numbers, words, or themes popping up in your life over and over again? Maybe you always seem to look at the clock at 1111, or you keep running into people with the same name. These patterns aren't random. They're often messages from God, little winks to let you know He's there and you're on the right path. I used to see the number 555 everywhere, on license plates, receipts, page numbers. At first, I thought it was just a coincidence. But then I learned that in many spiritual traditions, 555 is associated with major life changes and divine guidance. It was like God was constantly reminding me that change was coming and I was being guided through it. Lastly, one of the most powerful signs that you're chosen is a deep, unshakable feeling that you're meant for something more. This isn't about being famous or wealthy, although those things might come. It's a sense that your life has a greater purpose, that you're here to make a real difference in the world. This feeling might come with a bit of pressure. After all, having a big purpose can feel like a big responsibility, but it also brings a sense of excitement and fulfillment. You might not know exactly what your purpose is yet, but you can feel it calling to you, pushing you to grow and explore. Now, here's the thing about these signs. You might not experience all of them, and that's okay. God speaks to each of us in different ways. The key is to stay open and aware. Start paying attention to these little nudges and coincidences in your life. They're not just random events. They're God's way of showing you that you're on the right path, that you're one of the chosen ones. And remember, being chosen isn't about being better than anyone else. It's about being perfectly suited for a specific purpose in God's plan. Everyone has their own unique role to play. Your job is to embrace your chosen status and step into the incredible future that's waiting for you. As we move forward, we're going to explore what this chosen status means for your life, how it's going to change things, and most importantly, how you can fully step into this new reality. Get ready, because from here on out, your life is going to be filled with more blessings, opportunities, and abundance than you ever thought possible. This is just the beginning of your journey as one of God's chosen ones. Now that we've talked about the signs that show you're chosen, let's dive into what God really has in store for you. When I say millions, I'm not just throwing around big numbers to get you excited. I'm talking about a level of abundance that's going to blow your mind. But here's the thing. God's idea of abundance might look a little different from what you're expecting. See, when God chooses you, He's not just picking you to be rich or famous. He's choosing you to experience life in all its fullness. That means abundance in every area of your life. We're talking about millions of moments of pure joy, millions of opportunities to make a difference, millions of blessings that you can't even imagine right now. Think about it this way. God is the creator of the entire universe. He made billions of stars, countless planets, and every single beautiful thing on this earth. Do you think he'd choose you and then give you just the bare minimum? No way. When God decides to bless someone, he does it in a big way. Now, don't get me wrong. This abundance might include financial blessings. Maybe you'll start a business that takes off, or you'll get an unexpected inheritance. But it's so much more than that. You might find yourself surrounded by millions of moments of love with your family and friends, or you could touch millions of lives through your work or your kindness. I remember when I first understood this. I was always focused on making more money, thinking that was what abundance meant. But then something shifted. I started noticing all the amazing people in my life, the opportunities one had to help others, the beauty in the world around me. Suddenly, I realized I was already rich in so many ways. That's when things really started to change for me. God's plan for you is to live a life so full, so rich in experiences and love and purpose that you can't help but overflow and bless others. 
It's like filling a cup with water until it spills over. That's what God wants to do in your life. Fill you up so much that you naturally start filling up others. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking. This all sounds great, but are you sure God chose me? I'm not perfect. I've made mistakes. How can I be one of the chosen ones? Let me tell you something important. God doesn't choose perfect people. He chooses real people with real struggles and real flaws. Doubts are normal. Even some of the greatest figures in history had doubts. Moses doubted he could lead the Israelites. Gideon doubted he could be a mighty warrior. But guess what? God chose them anyway, and he worked through them to do amazing things. Your doubts don't disqualify you. They're just part of the journey. In fact, sometimes those doubts are there to push you to grow stronger in your faith. Every time you choose to believe despite your doubts, you're growing. You're becoming more of the person God chose you to be. Here's a simple technique I use when doubts start creeping in. I call it the remember and declare method. First, I take a moment to remember times when I felt God's presence or seen his work in my life. Then, I declare out loud, I am chosen by God. He has a plan for me, and I trust him. It might feel a little silly at first, but there's power in speaking these truths out loud. Another thing that helps is to surround yourself with people who believe in you and support your journey. Find friends, family members, or a community that will remind you of your chosen status when you forget. Their faith in you can help boost your own faith. Remember, being chosen doesn't mean your life will always be easy. You'll still face challenges and have bad days. But it does mean that you have a divine purpose and that God is with you every step of the way. Your struggles don't mean you're not chosen. They're often the very things God uses to prepare you for your purpose. Now that we've addressed those doubts, it's time to talk about developing the mindset of a chosen one. This is where things get really exciting, because when you start thinking like someone who's chosen by God, your whole world starts to shift. First, let's talk about what this mindset isn't. It's not about thinking you're better than everyone else. It's not about becoming arrogant or looking down on others. Remember, being chosen is about purpose, not superiority. So what does the mindset of a chosen one look like? It's about seeing yourself the way God sees you. It's about recognizing your value, your potential, and your divine purpose. When you really embrace this, it changes everything. Start by letting go of those old, limiting beliefs. You know the ones I'm talking about. The voice in your head that says you're not good enough, smart enough, or worthy enough. Those thoughts? They're not from God. They're just old habits that need to be replaced. Instead, start thinking thoughts that align with your chosen status. When you wake up in the morning, instead of groaning about another day, try saying, Thank you, God, for choosing me. I'm excited to see what you have in store for me today. When you face a challenge, instead of thinking, I can't handle this, try, God chose me for this moment. He'll give me what I need to get through this. This new way of thinking might feel strange at first. That's okay. It takes time to rewire your brain. But the more you practice these new thoughts, the more natural they'll become. Here's a practical tip. Write down some chosen one affirmations and put them where you'll see them every day. Stick them on your mirror. Set them as reminders on your phone or keep them in your wallet. Say them out loud when you see them. Things like, I am chosen by God for a special purpose. God's abundance flows through me. I am worthy of love, success, and blessings. God's power works through me to do amazing things. Another important part of this mindset is gratitude. When you start looking for things to be grateful for, you'll be amazed at how much abundance you already have in your life. Even on tough days, there's always something to be thankful for. This attitude of gratitude opens the door for even more blessings to come your way. Lastly, start looking at problems differently. Instead of seeing them as obstacles, see them as opportunities. Opportunities to grow, to learn, to rely on God more. When you're chosen, every experience, good or bad, is shaping you for your purpose. Adopting this new mindset takes time and practice. There will be days when it's easier and days when it's harder. That's normal. The key is to keep at it, to keep reminding yourself of who you really are. A chosen one, 
picked by God for something amazing. As you start thinking this way, you'll notice changes in your life. You might find yourself feeling more confident, more at peace. You might start seeing opportunities you never noticed before. That's because your new mindset is aligning you with God's plan for your life. You're starting to see yourself and the world around you through His eyes. Remember, this journey of embracing your chosen status is just beginning. There's so much more ahead of you. More growth, more blessings, more opportunities to make a difference in the world. Stay tuned, because we're about to dive into how you can start taking action and seeing real changes in your life. Your future as one of God's chosen ones is bright, and it's just getting started. Now that we've laid the groundwork and shifted our mindset, it's time to talk about action. Being chosen by God isn't a passive thing. It's an invitation to participate in something amazing. So, let's talk about some practical steps you can take to start living out your chosen status. First up, start your day with intention. Before you even get out of bed, take a moment to remind yourself that you're chosen. Say a simple prayer like, God, thank you for choosing me. Guide me today and help me see the opportunities you've placed in my path. This sets the tone for your entire day and puts you in the right mindset from the get-go. Next, start looking for ways to serve others. Remember, being chosen isn't just about you. It's about the impact you can have on the world around you. Look for small ways to help people every day. Maybe it's holding the door for someone offering a kind word to a stressed-out cashier, or volunteering in your community. These acts of service align you with God's heart and open doors for blessings to flow both to and through you. Another important step is to nurture your spiritual growth. Spend time reading inspiring books, meditating on spiritual truths, or attending services or groups that feed your soul. The more you grow spiritually, the more in tune you'll be with God's plan for your life. It's like tuning a radio. The clearer the signal, the better you can hear the message. Don't forget to take care of your physical health too. Your body is a gift from God, and taking care of it is a way of honoring that gift. Eat well, exercise, get enough sleep. When you feel good physically, you're better equipped to handle whatever challenges and opportunities come your way. Lastly, start taking steps towards your dreams and goals. Being chosen doesn't mean sitting back and waiting for things to happen. It means having the courage to step out and pursue the things God has placed in your heart. Always wanted to start a business? Take a small step today, like researching your idea or talking to someone in that field. Dream of helping underprivileged kids? Look into local organizations where you can volunteer. Remember, these actions don't have to be big or dramatic. Small. Consistent steps in the right direction can lead to huge changes over time. The key is to start and to keep going, even when things get tough. Now, let's talk about one of the most exciting parts of being chosen, the ripple effect. When God blesses you with abundance, it's not just for you. It's meant to flow through you and touch the lives of others. Think of it like this. When you throw a stone into a pond, it doesn't just create one splash. It creates ripples that spread out, touching every part of the pond. That's what your life as a chosen one is like. The blessings and abundance in your life create ripples that can impact people in ways you might never even know. For example, let's say God blesses you with a successful business. That's great for you, of course. But think about the ripple effect. You can provide jobs for people who need them. You can use your profits to support causes you care about. Your success might inspire others to pursue their dreams. See how far those ripples can spread? Or maybe your abundance comes in the form of joy and positivity. By being a source of encouragement and kindness, you could change someone's entire day. That person might then go on to spread that positivity to others. Your small act of kindness could start a chain reaction of goodwill. I remember a time when I was really struggling financially. A friend who had no idea about my situation, felt led to give me a gift card to a grocery store. It wasn't a huge amount, but it was exactly what I needed at that moment. That act of generosity didn't just help me buy food. It restored my faith and hope. It reminded me that I was cared for, that I was chosen. And you know what? As soon as I was back on my feet, I looked for ways to pay that kindness forward. That's the beauty of this ripple effect. When you're blessed, you become a blessing. And often, you'll find that the more you give, 
the more you receive. It's like God's abundance creates a beautiful cycle of giving and receiving that just keeps growing. So, as you start to experience more abundance in your life, always be on the lookout for ways to share it. It doesn't have to be money. You can share your time, your skills, your encouragement, your prayers. Every bit of kindness you put out into the world creates ripples of positive change. As we near the end of our journey today, let's take a moment to look ahead. Your future as one of God's chosen ones is incredibly bright. It's filled with potential, purpose, and yes, abundance beyond your wildest dreams. Imagine waking up every day with a deep sense of purpose. You know that you're exactly where you're meant to be, doing exactly what you're meant to do. The challenges in your life don't disappear, but they don't overwhelm you anymore. Instead, you see them as opportunities for growth and for God to show His power in your life. Picture yourself surrounded by loving relationships. People are drawn to the light that shines from within you. Your words bring encouragement, your actions inspire others, and your presence brings peace to those around you. See yourself achieving things you once thought were impossible. Maybe you're running a successful business that not only provides for your family, but also creates jobs and opportunities for others. Or perhaps you're using your talents in music, art, or writing to touch hearts and change lives. Envision a life where generosity is second nature. You give freely, not just money, but also your time, your skills, your love. And the amazing thing is, the more you give, the more you seem to receive. It's like you're tapped into an endless supply of blessings. Imagine the joy of seeing your actions create positive change in the world. Whether it's in your family, your community, or even on a global scale, you're making a real difference. You're living proof that one person, chosen by God, can have an incredible impact. This future isn't just a fantasy. It's the reality that God has in store for you as one of His chosen ones. It might not happen overnight, and the journey might have its ups and downs. But as you embrace your chosen status and walk in faith, you'll see more and more of this vision becoming your reality. As we wrap up, I want you to remember one crucial thing. Being chosen by God is not the end of your journey, it's the beginning. It's an invitation to step into a life of purpose, abundance, and impact. You've learned about the signs that show you're chosen, how to overcome doubts, and how to develop the mindset of a chosen one. You've discovered practical steps to take and how your blessings can create a ripple effect of positive change. Now, it's time to take all of this and put it into action. Remember, you're not alone on this journey. God, who chose you, will be with you every step of the way. He'll guide you, strengthen you, and open doors you never even knew existed. So, what's your next step? Maybe it's starting each day with a prayer of gratitude for being chosen. Perhaps it's taking that first small action towards a big dream. Or it could be looking for ways to bless others with the abundance in your life. Whatever it is, start today. Don't wait for everything to be perfect. Embrace your status as a chosen one and step boldly into the incredible future God has for you. You are chosen. You are valued. You are destined for greatness. Now go out there and live like it. Your journey to millions, millions of blessings, opportunities, and moments of joy starts right now. The world is waiting for the unique gift that only you, as one of God's chosen ones, can bring. It's time to shine 